All right, let's try not to mess that up a third time. Hi, it's John Webb, Scottish sci fi.co.uk, Scottish sci Translate that, you two. Hello, it's Scottish sci fi.co.uk, Scottish sci fi.com, Scottish sci fi.co.uk, Scottish sci fi.co.uk, Scottish sci fi.co.uk, Scottish they don't always work, especially with my voice. They don't like me, do they? Blah, 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 blah. Anywho, right. Um, so, hello, welcome. Still in Sunday number one of lockdown, 29th of March. People, it's no joke. Stay at home. Stay at home. I'm not going to say the F word, but stay at home. Just stay at home. Okay? Hello, kids. Um, stay at home, save yourselves, save other people by just staying at home. If you've got to go shopping, if you've got to go out, stay away from people. Just remember that social distancing thing, just do it. Yeah, stay the away from me, that's all I'm going to say. I was out walking the other, no, I'm not going to kick off. I'm not going to kick off, but runners, it is just as much your responsibility to stay the away from people as well, all right? You don't like practically shoulder barge them as you're running past because you want to run on a flat pavement or whatever. Just let let people know you're coming up behind them. They'll stand back and stay to one side or something. You know, walkers seem to cope. And cyclists, don't gob on the pavement, you filthy. Hello, kids. But I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it, but I'm meaning it. Stay at home. All right, look after yourselves. Right, back to week one of lockdown. So, um, I think all of us whiskey type people, um, generally, and uh, you know, uh, uh, just just whiskey people, people who have whiskey, people who generally then uh, develop to have a collection, and then without a shadow of a doubt, they all have bottles in their collection that they will open one day. I really, I really want to try that. I'm going to open it one day. Um, uh, one day is possibly today my pedigree chums okay it's possibly today so uh take the opportunity of life and things being okay right now for those who are okay right now and those who aren't okay right now please get well okay um and you know take solace and, uh, and just 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 do it just open a bottle so anyway so that's what i'm gonna do for the sundays that i'm locked down i'm not gonna drink it all throughout the week that would be irresponsible and i'm all about responsible um but i'm gonna open a bottle that i've always wanted to open and one that's usually been sat there for far too long and then been superseded by the next release of it and the next release of it and the next release of it and i still haven't opened the previous seven releases of it or something like that just basically now is the time to open it because tomorrow you may not be here right so i'm just saying that now i'm going to leave that morbid 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 morbidness out the way and i'll try to say it a little shorter for the next weeks that i do the same kind of video for this um and what i'm going to do because it's not usually fair to open a bottle um and taste it just there and then uh, you know, you, you've really got to give it time to breathe. You've got to give it t you know, time to experience it and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a bottle on the video and then I'm going to revisit it the following week with a proper review. Okay. So as this is the first one, I don't really have a bottle that I buy. I have a lot of every bottle I want to open, but I don't have a bottle that I specifically opened for this to do this last week. I'm going to review this because... This is nice, and I opened this because I really wanted to. And it's one less for the flippers, and it's one less for the auctions. And this is the Spring, Spring, Spring Bank, fifteen-year-old Rumwood, bottled at fifty-one percent. And yeah, it is what it is. It's made in rum barrels. It was distilled December two thousand and three and bottled August two thousand nineteen. There was only nine thousand bottles of this. It sold out very, very quickly. It was about 65 quid, I think. I think. Yeah, I'm sure it was 65 quid. Um, it's not chill filtered. Of course it's not, it's spring, mate. 
So 51% and it's got no colour in and it's, um, wow, what is it like? Let's find out, shall we? Let's have a wee, wee, wee go at this. Uh, should have poured it earlier. <laughs> Never mind. This is a very different beast of the video that I just did, which uh, you would have seen already, hopefully, or not. If you haven't, then go back to it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that mm, stuff. Um, I don't really care if you do. I, I don't even care if you're watching. If you're not watching, I care even less. Okay, that. Anyway, Springbank 15-year-old rum cask. I'm not a big fan of rum casks. I'm really not. I don't get on with a lot of rum casks. Yeah, this time ever. Goes to show some spirits take to rum cast barrel and all the rum barrels that are used in this case is particularly nice and works for me. But uh, a lot of rum cast matured whiskey I've kind of gone out. So definitely go spring bank, you know, immediately oily, lightly smoked, very cereal so oily so it's just got that absolute presence hints of orange candied orange the rum most definitely is not overpowering at all it's just there subtly hanging in the background sweet um orangey candied I'm repeating myself, but it's what it is. It's a tropical nature to this. Bit of mango, bit of... Probably a touch of pineapple. I want to say papaya, but I really... I'd be lying to say I've sniffed a papaya recently. But for some reason, I want to say papaya. Maybe passion fruit, actually, is probably a better... Better thing. They're probably not alike because, like I said, I haven't sniffed a papaya recently. <laughs> Shit, really. Hello, kids. Um, <laughs> briefly. Oh. <laughs> this is disco dancing, man. That's a, it's probably not. It's nothing like disco dance. Not that I know. Um, wow. Okay, it's very spring bank. Bear with me. It demands more attention. The ABV is banging, man. It's, it's really good. It's a lot of flavour coming through. It's a lot of fruit, lots of oiliness. Spicy, but warming, complementary spice to the fruitiness. It's definitely like dried orange going all the way through it. Lots of cereal notes, a little bit of smoke. Very, very, very oily. Incredibly mouth coating. And that was the camera shouting at me because somebody's being a pervert. Anyway. I'm in lockdown, right? <laughs> now she's laughing. So I'm in lockdown. The girlfriend's in lockdown, two different locations. There's a camera on the wall over there. It's a cat cam, really. So now it's a bloody John cam, because all she's doing is watching me. Anyway. Hello, Carmen. <laughs> she thinks I'm probably talking to mates and not recording a video for Whiskey. She probably thinks I'm talking to a friend. I'm not. This is going on YouTube. Anyway, right, back to this. And there you go. Hello, kids. 
I hope you can hear that. There's about a 10 minute mark, I've got to remind myself of that. I'm gonna double check you can hear that. Wonderful. I'm not recording it again, this was the third time. Right. Okay. Beautifully fruity, oily, very cereal, old school whiskey solid all the way through i can't i can't say anything else it's fantastic stuff it really is it's amazing i'm gonna put a little bit of water in there just a tiny little bit there ain't much whiskey left because i've been sipping it too much okay a little bit of water really softens it up brings out more of the fruit. There's a softer, kind of older, really overripe fruit note to this. It smells fantastic, it really does. It's, it's such an amazing whiskey that I love Springbank, love what they do. much less intense now but jesus so much flavor oh my god i thought it was good without the water with the water it's stunning so full of so full of flavor look that that's beautifully integrated lovely loads of loads of fruit loads of cereal that gentle smokiness still really oily just fantastic love 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 this Mm. Right, I'll finish this later because big reveal time. Big reveal, a reveal time. Okay, so bottle number one, week number one, lockdown bottle. Yeah, lockdown bottle. So, I have yet to open one of these bottles myself. Um, I've tried it at whiskey shows. I've tried it, um, have I tried it elsewhere? No, I think I've only ever tried it at whiskey shows. Oh, bottle shares. We've done bottle shares at this particular whiskey. Um, of some of the early releases. Always really enjoyed it. And it's about time I opened my own bottle. Um, this is the latest release, winter 2007. Of Duff Mill. So, like I said, brand new bottle. I just kind of feel like ripping off that. No, it's not that. Right. <laughs> Foil gone. One less bottle for the auctions. Ha 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 ha. Do you like it? Just drink some whiskey. Sorry, I'm terrible about taking the whole foil off. And I should probably leave it there. I don't know. Is there any reason for that? Apart from making a pig's ear of it and taking too long? Anyway, Daft Mill. Um, limited edition of 1,785 bottles. This is the winter batch release of 2007. So it's distilled in 2007, bottled in 2019. It's approximately, oh God, I have to do maths. 12 years old. 12, 11 to 12 years old. We'll see them 12, but it could be 11. Uh, bottled at 46%. It's uh, Daft Mill's tiny little distillery uh, in the lowlands of Scotland. Um, uh, any runs of the farms, quiet periods, midsummer and winter, sometimes producing as few as 100 casks per year. When not distilling, Francis Cuthbert looks after the estate, growing and uh, growing the malting barley used to make this lowland whiskey. The barley variety, Optic, was grown in the, in the south fields and harvested in the last week of August 2006. It was then stored on the farm to be malted in a lower during the summer of 2007. I'm not going to read all the details of the next paragraph. The seven first fill ex bourbon barrels that make this up bottlings is, and then there's lots of cast references. Uh, they were distilled and filled in November 2007. So, without further ado, and this is a first kind of, this is a first experience of this particular bottle, which 
or it sometimes isn't you know as as representative as it should be so so i'm just gonna just tip the whole thing out um i'm gonna have a quick go first impressions so first impressions of all the impressions they are just the first impressions um you know it's not necessarily uh the complete impression because a this will be my fourth whiskey after doing three other whiskey reviews so this is my fourth whiskey so my palate's going to have some cause and effect on it apologies for just doing that um and uh and therefore and a fresh open but a bottle which has been sat in a bottle for a few months and not really had any benefit of aeration oxidization all those lovely other things so Daphne, winter 2007 stay at home stay at home cheers slanger floral light dare i say almost a little bit soapy but not in a bad way wash your hands folks i didn't do that on purpose but yeah no very floral kind of like the floral soap you would have so it's not when i say soapy it's not necessarily like the the raw soapy elements it's just reminding me of uh, a good quality hand soap <laughs> sorry <laughs> there's a little bit of um warehouse just uh, uh came through but a little bit of oaky warehouse then eh? and it's really this this lovely stuff coming out of this so there's more fruits coming through now and it's more orchard fruits ripe apple cooking apple even the skins of the apple this green cooking apple skins definitely vanilla definitely spicy a little bit of cinnamon whole lot of vanilla now getting custody it's definitely changing with every sniff here it's, it's I love trying whiskey for the first time because so much is going on now he's getting more custardy again more cereal but like custard creams you know it's biscuit buttery that that whole soap thing's bloody gone now there's no there's hardly any floral now at all but now i've said it i'm kind of <laughs> sensing a little bit of floral back oh, it's just beautifully complex and changing all the time but all the time really approachable light uh, just just a uh, just a just heavenly to sniff even getting tropical now there's a little bit of pineapple there fresh pineapple juicy god it's really good okay let's see what palette's like So different to everything else I've tried tonight. It's a waxiness coming through. Oh, that waxy lemon note. It's really, it's really pleasant. Is it that there's a hint of sort of like the, the dryness on the finish is kind of there's just a waxiness about it. It's kind of a very pleasant tongue coating sensation. I want to say it reminds me of really old good Klein because but it does okay so now the nose based off the back of the palette because I've tried it and now the nose is reflecting the palette a little bit more and it's getting more citrusy but still sweet citrus that waxiness it's 
really, really, really good. And it's my own bottle, you know. If I thought it was pish, I'd say. So I was a bit worried about doing this because I was <laughs> dreading opening it and going, oh God, this is hard work. Okay, so last thoughts on the nose because 20 minutes in. Last thoughts on the nose. Dusty warehouses, a little bit of oak, lots of waxy fruit, lots of vanilla, a little bit biscuity, custard creams come to mind. But you've got that dusty, waxy kind of sweet lemon. That's the nose, folks. It's lovely. I wasn't a big enough set. Sorry. Sorry. It's a spicy, oaky intensity behind which you've got very waxy. Sweet and sour lemon. You've got that drying waxiness. Quite a bit of vanilla. Yeah, a little bit of custardness. It's a bit dominating on the spice at the moment. I wondered if water would help that, or whether it's like I said, first impressions on the old, uh, on the old um, freshly opened bottle scenario. My own. Be having a sip of this this week and then next week i'll do a proper re-review uh, a revisitation of lockdown whiskey number one a little bit of water has uh, dulled down the nose a bit made it a little bit more vanilla possibly made it a little bit one-sided actually more dry and vanilla not convinced of adding more to this yet. Maybe added too much. On the palate, less spicy, more creamy, definitely lots of vanilla, not quite as fruity, not quite as waxy, different. Just going to need some playing around with folks and that's what i'll do until next week so until next week stay safe stay well if you're not well get better most importantly stay inside okay cheers <laughs>